How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with another video covering the latest patch for Dragon Ball Fighters. I wanted to do another one of these specifically to cover the big winners and big losers of the patch for Dragon Ball Fighters now that we got some extra time with the actual changes in our hands and some of the changes were actually just so crazy that I felt the need to cover them in their own video. So while later in the video we will be covering the big winners and why I think those changes really benefit them, I want to start off the video with who I think lost the most in this patch. Of course the honorary medal for biggest loser this patch goes to Android 17, but that's only because he only got a bug fix and nothing else. Really really sad to see considering nobody's playing Android 17 at a top level right now, so it would be nice to just get something, you know, just a little something to reignite the passion in 17 uh, and making him a little less rigid of a character. But on to characters who actually did get Get nerfed I would say one of the big areas for this patch was post level 3 hard knockdowns and specifically we're going to be talking about Android 16 Bardock and Gotenks now let's clear this up right now Gotenks is still very much top tier because all they got rid of was his ability to act in the air without first touching the ground post level 3 he still has a pretty good wake up game all things considered and even then that's not really the biggest area of Gotenks' game that was also probably Gotenks' only nerf this patch so in reality Gotenks still makes it out okay Android 16 and Bardock though did not escape this patch without some pretty harsh punishment. You'll notice after Android 16's level 3, they took away his potential to go for the cross-up overhead, which was a huge part of his game. I actually mentioned this as a possibility in my patch notes video when I was just reading the notes, but I didn't actually think they would make it impossible, I just thought they would make it a little harder to get that. You know, something about giving the opponent more time to react, but no, they just flat out moved that guy 5 feet back. <laughs> and speaking of moving people 5 feet back, Bardock actually, it, it's hilarious, it looks like Bardock got nerfed by some somebody that hates playing against Bardock. After you land Bardock's level 3, you will actually be put at a full screen position away from your opponent. This is actually a pretty sizable nerf to Bardock, his Oki really isn't as great as it used to be anymore, so seeing as many Bardock level 3s as we had in the past probably won't be too popular. Now reportedly you can actually get a safe setup with your jab if you micro dash and jump perfectly, but that's definitely a little harder to do now that you are a full screen away. Overall I do still expect Android 16 and Bardock to be pretty high contenders in terms of characters simply because they're still good at other things in the game but it definitely does hurt to see their level threes altered like this especially if you play these characters and that's pretty much it for the losers of this i guess you could also mention kid boo since they focused on taking away some of his boo ball mix-ups and adult gohan since they made it a little harder to do 5h into down heavy but overall both of those changes really aren't as drastic as these level threes but that's about it for the big losers okay now we can move on to the big winners of this patch and there's actually a few that i want to talk about about and we'll just go from uh, you know who I think is going to be better now and then really really good results so first off I want to talk about Goku Blue's new teleporting grab the madman over at Arxis actually made him teleport before the initial grab part of his shocking god flash making this move a extremely extremely powerful tool of his kit from now on you're easily going to be able to get some better tick throws and just throws in general and this thing can start combos so extremely powerful tool and one of the best parts about this move existing now is that your opponent has to acknowledge it as a threat. Before, they were definitely not worried about this when they were blocking, they were more concerned about whether you were going high or low, but now that this throws in a third option, this greatly ups the pressure on your opponent when he's playing defense. Overall, that's exactly what you want as a Goku Blue player, as you really your main goal is to mix them up, and this grab really, really gives you the benefit to doing that. So much so, that I think I probably want to main Goku Blue now, simply because he's already so much fun, and this move only makes him better. After Goku Blue, I would definitely put Broly up there. Broly is one of those people that would be really hard to tell is going to be as good as he is now without <laughs> with just the notes of the patch. So basically they listed Broly's thing as oh he, his, his armor is a little faster. What they didn't mention was that it's so fast that he can even do it after a vanish from his opponents before they can jab. Making Broly have another option to get out of these vanish things for pretty much free. It's absolutely insane. The armor also starts up faster on all of his moves making, Bro making playing Broly a lot smoother of an experience. One of my favorite things now is that when you see an opponent super dash at you you can actually sort of react to it with your quarter circle back medium or light and actually combo them off of their super dash it's a lot of fun and then i would be remiss not to mention piccolo after broly he got a ton of buffs was already a pretty decent character and then just 
kept on getting better, dude. Really, Piccolo didn't get too, too insane, but th I, the fact that they're buffing him and nerfing everybody else around him only speaks good things for Piccolo. And the last character I wanted to cover today is Beerus. Yes, Beerus walked away from this patch. Probably my choice for winner, not only because of how long he's been waiting in the side <laughs> on the sidelines, I should say, uh, but just for the fact that the buffs were so good for him. So now in the corner, he can actually jail with his five heavy into quarter circle medium. This is really good for Beerus because it leads to almost Kid Buu or Gotenks style of mix-ups, and you could combo this with assist to form some really devastating mix-ups. And let's not forget that Beerus also got a huge buff to his DP, which before this was absolutely useless, worst DP in the game, but now it actually has super armor and can stop super dash, meaning this move actually has a spot on Beerus's move list. And even aside from all that, Beerus just got a lot, a lot faster. So I would say it's actually pretty hard to look at this patch and not say, yeah, yeah, Beerus got away uh, pretty lucky with this one. He got a lot of good buffs. But those are pretty much my last opinions on the newest patch for Dragon Ball Fighters. Overall, this was a pretty fun one for the game. I think it did a lot to balance some things that people weren't too excited about, while also adding some new crazy stuff for some of the older characters that maybe didn't get a lot of love. And even though I didn't mention a lot of things in my video, there are a ton of minor buffs for characters that mains of those characters are really in love with right now. I know for me, one thing I really enjoy is that you can now combo 2M, 5M into Heavy Wolf Fang Fist for Yamcha. It's a really fun damaging combo, and before, this wasn't even possible. So, uh, really nice that they're doing these creative buffs for low tier characters and mostly avoiding nerfs. But let me know down in the comments what you think about this patch. Are you having fun with it? Did they uh, buff or nerf your favorite character? And how healthy do you think it's going to be for the overall game. While you're down there, if you like these videos and want to see more of them, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And as always, I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video.